I usually wake up around 8.45 a.m. The good thing is usually people don't schedule meetings too early in the morning, so that gives me some time to get ready. But I actually try to be that girl, like the girl that wakes up at 5 a.m., but you know what? That's just not me. For breakfast, I usually do Taiwanese pancake. It's called tanping in Mandarin, and it's like this whole pack of dough or in Mandarin you say like lemon tea and yeah I'm just gonna make it so my mom actually taught me this dish before I moved to the states for college I've mastered this dish fully but even to this day she still argues that I'm doing it wrong mom if you're watching just let me be slowing down for at least like until end of this year and then next year i'm going to a wedding in texas in january so yeah so in this call i'm helping the business partnerships team set up their partnership campaign and my role here is to help them build an audience via sequel and set up a b testing based on their learning objective it's getting really cold in new york so a good soup is perfect for lunch here is the chicken mushroom soup that we made with our favorite instant pot Soup test. Mmm, so good. It's so good for the winter. So good. That's me commuting from my bedroom to my desk. The traffic was kind of bad, so I ran one minute late to the call. Anyway, let's hop in. So the second meeting here is to kick off the analytics work stream to analyze a growth experiment that we had done around podcasts, even though I don't really listen to podcasts. Anyways, this call includes a data scientist and project manager, and my role here is to work with a data scientist to understand his data science approach. So he shared his screen to walk me through how he modeled the data, the code he's run, and my job here is then to extract insights from this whole thing into an easy to understand presentation for our key stakeholders. <laughs> So for my strategy call presentation, I structured the call with this agenda. Because it's hard to talk about a strategy since it's not like it's tangible, so I try to structure it in a way that enables us to speak from a high level then gradually go deeper into the subject. 
So the third and last call of the day is a strategy meeting with our managing director and my manager. I briefed them on a growth strategy I've been leading this year, and I prepared a presentation to walk them through what we've accomplished so far, brainstorm how we can scale this up for 2022 for bigger impacts. I guess I did really well. Very proud of myself. I used the rest of my afternoon wrapping up some analysis, and I went offline at around 5.30 p.m. And I'm done for today. Picking up some dinner. I started my YouTube channel two weeks ago, and I hope that by sharing my career experiences in my early 20s, I can help inspire you in your journey as well. You got this. So yeah, that's how my day went. Actually, wait, before I go, I hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to hear more about my career stories. And I hope it can inspire your career journey too. See you next time!